Welcome back to A Country Boy Can Cook. And a country boy can't play the harmonica. But here it is. I got tired of buying music to put on my videos. Good morning. Welcome back to the Country Boy Can Cook. It's early, 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 and uh, I'm going to fix a shrimp salad today. I uh, stir fried some shrimp the other day and had this left in the package frozen, so I thawed them out. Uh, and uh, got my cast iron pan heating up. I can put my hand over the top of it. <coughs> I got my macaroni. This little pack of macaroni, they're packaged out of uh, Cleveland. I'm not sure who actually you know, produces the macaroni, but it's a good little size. I've got my water simmering on the other stove. And first, we're going to do the shrimp. Let me turn you around here so you can see me what I'm doing here. I think maybe that's it. That'll do it. Get my, get my early oil out of the way here. So I've got my shrimp. I'm going to put some olive oil. Pretty good bit, so it coats all of it. <clears throat> and I see my pan's heating up over here. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn on the vent hood just in just in case it decides it doesn't like the fire alarm. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. This goes pretty quick actually. It's heck being seven years old and having struggled to put a lid back on a container. <clears throat> All right. Get that back out of the way again. All right, so I've got olive oil. And I've got garlic. Both of those go well. And I've got a little bit of butter. And I'm going to put it in the pan. Everything better with butter. That'll actually help brown the shrimp. I don't want them fried. I want them to be broiled. Like they've been broiled in an oven. Just a little bit of color on them. As you see, I didn't add any salt for these. Once I get this all together this afternoon, I'll check it and see if it needs salt or not. Right. Okay, I've got the spray pan. Okay, I'm gonna take them off. They cook so quick. Get you over here so you can see my cooking. Just now having my first bit of coffee. This is what I'm looking for, just a little bit of color. Yes, I'm using spatula, silicone spatula, it works great. It holds up to the heat well. If you use one of the white spatulas like you normally do for like cakes and stuff, it would just melt as soon as it hits the hot oil. Uh, let's see here. 
back up here. You can see over my finger up there, there's a pot of water for my macaroni. The reason I'm doing this this time of day, it's early, but the shrimp need to be cooled down and the pasta needs to be cooled before all the other stuff is added to it. You know, it, it's celery and bell pepper and everything that you would see like in a, like in a salad. <clears throat> The uh, shrimp is almost done. And I'm going to give you some mud here. It helps me wake up in the morning. <clears throat> anyway, this salad can be done with anything. It's great with crab. You can even use crab, K-R-A-B, that artificial stuff. I tasted a lot of it. It tastes great. I mean, you can't pan fry it because it was box brought apart, but you can just take it cold because it's already 100% cooked. And uh, put it in your salad. So anyway, about three hours from now, after everything's cooled down and I've, I've chopped the uh, shrimp into a manageable bite. Uh, that's kind of the same size as the celery and everything that goes in it. Then um, I will mix with some mayonnaise. If I'll bring you back for that, I'm not going to leave you hanging here. So. Just going to bring you in for the first part of this cook. And we're wondering if you were wondering if the old dude really does cook. Yeah, I really could. If you get a chance when you're watching this, please share. I'm trying to grow my channel. The only way I can grow my channel uh, is to uh, subscribers. I'm getting a few. It's been a long time coming. Health issues, life issues got in the way, but I'm finally on track here. <clears throat> Bring you back around here for the, for the shrimpies. I love shrimp. And if this is too much, we can eat, eat some chill this evening with some uh, ketchup and horseradish sauce. That's, that's cocktail sauce to everybody else. It's just a little bit of a, how hot you want it, but it's just a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of a, at least a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of horseradish. horseradish. Or maybe do two things at once. <clears throat> so I'm just going to turn these off. Let them cool down in the pan a little bit. Turn my fire off. Alright. It's around here. Turn that other. I've got it on simmering, but I want that water boiling from this back around the hit. I don't put any olive oil in the water, and I do put salt just to raise the temperature of the boiling temperature. I'll bring you over here. Yeah, let's see here. See if I can walk and talk at the same time. Yeah, I'm doing it. Let's see here. All right, let's see if I see the pot here. You can see it's already hot. <clears throat> I uh, cook my macaroni until it's done. I don't know whoever started the al, al dente. Al dente is kind of still raw on the inside. I don't like it like that. I want it. I want it nice and complete. Completely cooked. So what I do to say a watch pot won't boil. It, it should here pretty quick. Um, 
soon as this comes to temp, I mean, as soon as it comes to temp I'll, and starts boiling, I will add my macaroni. And I'm going to boil it for about five minutes and I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to put a lid on it and cover it. And then I'll come back about an hour later, whenever I get a chance, I'm in no hurry. And I'll drain that macaroni, it'll be perfect. It's perfect for me. It may not be, it may be overcooked to some people. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> when we were growing up, we had macaroni, or we had pasta two ways. Macaroni and cheese, my mother made, and uh, we had uh, spaghetti. And one of these days, I'll bring my mother's uh, spaghetti sauce and sauce. We'll do a video on that, so. All right, I think it's getting there, so. Just sprinkle it around. This is a seven ounce pack. They, they look pretty small. And they are. Get one out here that, that spilled. You can see, I mean, they're really like, real small. But they puff up about twice the size they normally are. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil. I'm gonna turn them off and let them sit there. And I will bring you back, uh, bring you back here. Bring you back to the old dude. When uh, I'm prepping the vegetables, getting ready to add them later this afternoon. So my morning is, is finished. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. I'll bring you back later. And uh, you'll see me assemble all this uh, garlic shrimp salad and maybe some leftover shrimp to eat with some uh, tartar so or hot sauce or tartar sauce or however you like it. So y'all have a great morning and I'll see you in about three hours. <clears throat> All right, my shrimp have cooled down. I'm gonna chop them. Don't want them too big, don't want whole pieces. Enough you know you're eating shrimp, of course. I, I, I took one of these shrimp and had it from my early breakfast a while ago, so it's really good. Here, my Mr. Big Man coming in here to check it. Like, uh, Daddy, I'd like a shrimp. He loves fish. <clears throat> All of my wiener hounds, and he's a chewini, he's part wiener dog. He's a rescue. And uh, but my full blood wieners that I used to have that are, that are still in our hearts that have gone over that rainbow bridge they uh, all love fish we used to go to a place here in Louisville called Tyranny's uh, it was on Main Street and uh, alright a little leg slip in here that's no good Anyway, they had they had fried catfish and they had whole catfish, which I dearly love. Those real small ones. My God, they were great eating. It's been sold now. And, uh, he has a pizza place. So let me bring you right back. You know what I'm doing. So I'll bring you back at the end. All right. I'm slow, but I still have all my fingers. Why get in a hurry? I've hurried all my life. Old saying, you drive like hell and you get there first, so I'm, uh, I'm just taking it easy now. Enjoying life. It's 70. It's coming up on a year of when I had my heart event last October and so slowly but surely getting to walk again like this and put it in a boat it'll finish cooling down in the fridge I'll cover this and that way no other flavors get into it and I definitely had a one of these earlier they were really good And they're slick. Olive oil and butter makes it like that, and the olive oil and butter makes them good. 
And yes, if you're new to my channel and you've never seen this knife before or the first time you've ever seen it, this is made out of an old saw blade that my dad had hanging up in the barns for years. He was going to sharpen it and use it again. It was a cross-cut saw. And uh, he never got around to it. Kind of like me, you know, there's a lot of things I didn't get around to during this uh, event in my life. So about uh, seven or eight years ago, after he had passed and we sold the ranch, uh, I took, you know, certain things out of the barn. You can see the serrations through here where, you know, it was it was a straight cross cut. I, I don't even know what it belonged to. It's some kind of piece of machinery. And I made the knife. I've been making knives for a long time. It holds its edge good. It sharpens it. It will rust. It never goes into the the uh, dishwasher. It's only washed off under the hot running water. Maybe a little soap on it. And that's it. Uh, the handles are made out of uh, mesquite wood that cut off my parents' place. It serves me well, and it's always a great memory to use this knife. And to me, cooking is about memories. My mother never made shrimp salad. This is something I picked up along the way. But it's really good. You can see all that. So, before I turn the camera on a while ago, I just got through fixing my breakfast. And, uh, these are hamburger buns, cinnamon toast. Got a couple of them here. I'm gonna, it's gonna be my breakfast this morning with my rest of my mud. So, y'all have a great day. Bring you back this afternoon when we put all this together. My Mac noodles are ready. They're still warm, but you can see they've expanded. No, they're not al dente. They're cooked. Anyway, I'm going to drain these, let them cool off a little bit before I add them to the, the mix. Welcome back to the vegetable prep time to go in this shrimp salad. Shrimp macaroni salad, I should say. Get it right. I'll turn you down here so you can see me prepping these vegetables. I'm going to do a little bit of bell pepper. the seeds. I don't want any of the white. I don't want the end piece here. Had one left in the package. So. Let's see here. Get this white off here. And here. Gotta be careful, this old butcher knife sharp. Kept cooking, thinking about family this morning. How things have changed in the world since I was a kid. I can't share a video because it would uh, did put a strike against me for but if you get a chance there's a new singer that's hitting the airwaves he's a country boy or a mountain boy or he's from Appalachia I think and his big song is rich men north of Richmond Richmond Virginia is what he's talking about and of course he's talking about Washington. If you get a chance, watch that song. See if it see if it resonates with you. It definitely does me. And I, I've been working all my life, and this coming year will be the first time that I don't pay taxes, income taxes. Uh, and I know that I will never see all my taxes back, even on my Social Security. It'll just never be. I'll never live long enough to. And then the government gets what's left. Anyway, don't get me started on a rant. But uh, 
So anyway, I'm going to chop this bell pepper into little pieces. If it didn't take so long for the cleanup, I'd have put it in my food processor. But, yeah, I just... As I've said, I've got time. I hope I do anyway. And, uh... Have you ever made a shrimp salad? Have you, have you had any type of a salad like this? Shrimp macaroni? I love just macaroni salad. It's got celery and everything else in it, so. And I like the chunks, you know. I want to know that I'm eating some vegetables. I didn't get to be a big boy from just eating plain vegetables. But I do love my steaks. I do love hamburgers and tacos and everything else. Here's celery. Gotta have celery in there. There's no doubt that it's it's one of the stars that goes great with. Uh, these have already been washed, but they need the ends chopped off of them. and split these lengthwise and then start chopping little pieces like that to go on the salad and I'll bring you back when I get that finished you know how I'm going to chop no need to keep watching goodness that's not the knife that you want to drop, especially on bare legs like I have. Rinse this baby off here. It didn't hit the floor. I caught it. <laughs> anyway, you can see my celery I've got chopped up. I'm going to save these for me to crunch on while I'm doing this video. So I've got the bell peppers, celery, I've got the shrimp chopped, you can see earlier in the video. And there's part of a tail section here, not sure how I missed that. but. Go back through here and make sure the no shells are in here. All right. I'm just working on this. Get rid of some of my trash. Next thing I'm going to do is pickles. If I had some fresh dill, I would add that right now, but I don't have any fresh dill. Dill does absolutely great with uh, shrimp. Does absolutely great in a pasta salad, no matter what you're having in it. So, I'm gonna take and chop these up. Get my pickle jar out of the way. These are best made hamburger slices. They will add a ton of flavor. I don't 
one is to overpower my shrimp. here, dry my hands off. <coughs> dry my cutting board. Put this up here. Now it's time to add the star of the show, macaroni. I rinse them. They're cooled down just a little bit. You can see they've expanded in size more than double. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these. Yes, this is an old fryer basket. It works great for draining, which is made for draining fried stuff. So I don't know if I use this all or not. I'm just checking look. Actually looks like a pretty good mixture there. So this leftover pasta, which there's not a lot left over, I'll serve that with just some butter, a little salt and pepper and garlic on it. It'll be really good. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. I would love to put onion in it. But my wife believes that she's allergic to onion. She can, she loves the taste of onion. She used to eat it just like I did. Whole pieces, but she started having problems with it. So I'm going to put onion powder. She says it does not bother her, the onion powder. So I'm not, I'm not sure if she's never been tested. Just her own idea. And we all have ideas about life and what causes this and what causes that. I believe this is getting close. Okay. I don't want this real sweet, of course. And I'm going to add... Just a, just a touch, maybe a half a teaspoon of mustard. And then here it comes Miracle Whip, you know, Walmart brand whip dressing. I'm not a mayonnaise fan. And I don't know how much I'm adding because it just depends on how much macaroni and how much shrimp. I mean, I, I want it to be good. I want it coated. So we're just going to test this. And... There's no salt added. This macaroni is cooked in salty water. I believe that's the consistency. It's going to thicken up a little bit once I get it in the fridge. I'm going to let this set for two or three hours before we serve it. I'll come back and uh, show you my serving suggestion. Get this, my fork all, all cleaned off here. So I can do a taste test. All right, let's see here. A little bit of everything here. Alright, 
Well, let's do a taste test here. Oh my goodness. That's great. Mm. This is the best ever shrimp salad. Shrimp macaroni salad. Mmm. I don't know what I can wait till dinner. Mmm. Just the right amount of everything. I'm probably going to put some black pepper. It needs no salt. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd get up and go get some white pepper I have in there so you don't see it. But I, Black pepper tastes the same as white pepper. You can just see it, so. Anyway, there's what she looks like when she's finished. So, I'll get this in the fridge. I'll bring you right back. I'm going to show you something. All right, back again here. I've had a couple of people ask me about this. What is this cabinet top made out of? It's made out of galvanized steel. When we bought this house, I think it had, I don't know what it had on it. Some linoleum, heck, I don't know, plastic or something. You know, like I said, it was built, our house was built in 56. So I wanted to redo this and I wanted to put one countertop on it that would last my lifetime. And so far it's doing good. This is galvanized sheet metal. One cold, snowy day, 27 years ago, my wife and I made a template out of cardboard, made all the curves and everything in it, and I took it to a buddy of mine in Denton, and uh, I said, I, here's what I want. I want this, and I want this in sheet metal, just like I have it here, just duplicated. He said, no problem. Two days later, he called me, and uh, it was ready. We brought it home and we glued it to this thing. And you can put, you can chop on it. I don't, uh, but you can. It dulled my knife down. Uh, you can set hot pans on it. it no, no problem there. Easy to clean. You can use Windex or detergents, whatever. No problem. Has it stained a few places through the years? Yeah, a little bit. It looks like an old cabin, like you'd find in an old cabin someone had. And that's fine. I've, every stain and, and pimple and dimple on this thing. I put them in it, it so it's mine and I don't even care if anybody else likes it or not but that's the explanation of this countertop so we've got something else I want to show you just hang with me just a second let me get up I've had some people ask about this oh goodness all right all right I can get up here all right Get the camera in my hand so you, you can see what's going on. All right, so I'm raising my shirt up. I'm gonna show you my belt. It's got a few holes in it. It was out to here a year ago. You can see right there where it was setting. I weighed 480 pounds at that time. It's almost a year later. I weighed 315 this morning. So, just so you know, I don't eat all the food I cook, all the cakes and pies. I may have a bite of it, but I really watch my weight. I have to. Uh, I don't want to go back through what I went uh, through a year ago. And uh, anyway, so that's my weight loss. If anybody ever wanted to know what's going on with me, yeah, I don't take pills, I don't do anything, I just watch what I eat. Now we'll eat a pretty good bit of this uh, pasta salad this afternoon. 
So, hope you have a great day. Please share this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, please. I'm, I'm trying to get at least to 100 subscribers. Share to your friends. I know this is not the best produced video. Hey, but it is a good recipe. So, and I will put some recipes at the end of my family recipes. I'll try to add a couple of those each time out of our family cookbook. Um, I'm going to do this time. I'm going to do dressing. And matter of fact, be looking for one of my videos here pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead and do dressing two different ways uh, before Thanksgiving. So if anybody needs a recipe that's good, southern cornbread recipe, I'll have it up. So thanks for the old dude. I'm out of here. Well, welcome back to the final chapter of this shrimp pasta salad. I've got it fixed uh, two ways. you notice a little red stuff on top of mine sprinkled on. This is a little Creole seasoning of my own that I mixed up. Not a lot of spice, but just a lot of flavor. So, I'm going to take the best bite. Try it out. There's on a... These are toasted... Uh, let me see what the name of this is. They're good. They're baked uh, scoops. That's what they are. Let me take that. Mmm. Mmm, God. It's going to be hard to beat that. Now I'm going to have it on cracker salting and see how this is. Well. The texture of the two is totally different. The cracker is softer than the baked scoop. And the scoop is, of course, corn. The cracker is flour, unleavened flour. But they're both good. I don't think I could choose which one's the best. So they're all going back to me for dinner. Anyway, thank you for being part of the old dude's world. Straighten up here. I really do appreciate all of you that's tuned into my town. I hope you can help help me make it grow. I keep adding more content uh, every week. I try. So anyway, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and share it to your friends. Let them see the old dude to how I can cook. So a country boy can cook with a mouthful of shrimp and pasta salad out of here. Welcome back to A Country Boy Can Cook. And a country boy can't play the harmonica. But here it is. I got tired of buying music to put on my videos. Welcome back to A Country Boy Can Cook, and a country boy can't play the harmonica, but here it is. I got tired of buying music to put on my videos.